Hey, Brittany. Hey. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Route. Well, as you can tell, I'm not Irish. <laughs> Anyways, yes. I just finished watching your video about your childhood, and I totally agree with you. I have multitudes of things from my childhood. I love Homeward Bound, Jurassic Park, Land Before Time, or the sequel screwed it up. Damn, you done ton of roof. Anyways, yes. I love all of those. Like, Jurassic Park. I'll never forget when I first saw that. And I believe I went to go see with my with one of my relatives. I'm not gonna say who or which. Mostly because um, I'm kind of edited by my uh, parental units. Next thing about not talking too much about it, since I. Uh, Currently, not even going to say that. Nah. However, hmm. however, I don't hear that many people, or no, I have heard tons of people comment about their childhood and you know, all these movies that are coming out, like Transformers, for starters that have been obliterating our childhood. And you may or may not have heard of this, but this does frighten me a little bit. They're going to do... I can't bring myself to say this. The same people who worked on Transformers, same person, mind you, worked on Transformers, going to have control over the Captain Planet movie. Yep, you heard it. The Captain Planet movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. To be afraid, to be very, 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 very afraid. Hey. But then, I guess I shouldn't say that. I should be more positive and you know, hope to God that they can cross my fingers on top of it, that they won't mess it up. Huh. But then again, I guess I shouldn't hold my breath that they're not going to mess it up. Because it's been only 20 years. Even though that's not fair either, because um, I'm trying to figure out how all this other stuff that's from the 1990s is gaining popularity all over again. They're planning to bring back jellies, which awesome. Love jellies growing up. Oh my god. Loved it. However, I sweat my feet. And I don't I, I'm not trying to hold you away from your sentimentality. You have that right. I'm in the same way. I have things like that. Uh, in fact I even suggest watching CR's watching a guy that I watch on the on channel awesome okay. I'll link put a link in the description box for that channel he reviews stuff like that like everyone else on channel awesome but he holds kind of a more loving caring relationship with it you know he doesn't heed his nostalgia he's not turned away from his nostalgia not ripping it up. He doesn't make me feel like, really? You dedicated your entire life to the, your childhood? The only you turn your back on it? Yeah. yeah it, he's far better than most people have been lately about nostalgia. It's just like, I don't want a lot of corporations getting a hold of Captain Planet, which is one of my favorite, to get a hold of it because. That show has a specific mission and point of view. And I love that show. Oh, yes. Those hours with Wheeler. I love me some redheads. That probably explains why I like, like Daniel Soul's Ball, but not like that. I barely know him. But anyways, I tend to like redheads. 
but that was a side effect. I like that that was a show that trusted children with really big issues. In fact, that show gave me nightmares because I was so worried about the planet. I saved a lake. And it's amazing how our nostalgia can do that, that it inspires people, not harms them. And that's what I feel nostalgia is supposed to do. Yeah. Now, there are some things that are nostalgia that I'm like, yes, yes, you, you listened to that and that inspired you to go and become a Marine. Let's put it this way. If I heard someone was inspired by My Little Pony to become a Marine, I would be kind of like, okay, you do that. Yeah, you you do that. I I thumbs up thumbs it up all the time. I think that's great. Scares me though, but thumbs me up. Thumbs up for me. All right. Now, however, I wish they bring back fanny packs. You know, without. Worrying that someone's gonna steal, even though I don't know how they would make fanny packs unstealable because the problem is you can unbutton it from the back and people can take it away. Again, I'm not trying to squelch your sentimentality. I think that's great that you value your nostalgia. I do too. It's just trying to get it to work after 20 years in a world that is. Different, but the same. You know, it's just we rehash to make fun of it. Like, okay, one example that irritates the whole heck out of me is how we brought back Scooby Doo. When we already did that 20 years ago, it's just the difference is now they're starting to do a little bit better job. The characters actually have a point of view, they have personality. Except I don't know why they have to put bows on Velma. I mean, Velma in every recreation that she's ever been in, never had to wear bows, never had bows in the first place. Why the bows? You know, the, it doesn't change the fact that she's a girl. Now, it might make her a little bit more feminine, but last time I checked, just because she put it in a dress, just because she, uh, you know, give it nice knockers, does not change the fact it's a girl. You know, it's just, I mean, I, that's why I like 16 Candles so much. Uh, now, that's not part of my nostalgia, per se, but I can see why that would be a really good movie to watch. <sighs> you know, the premise was a little off. Because, I'm trying to think, how does one, how, how does a parent forget their child's birthday? No, seriously, how does a parent forget their child's birthday. I am trying to wrap my brain around that. I don't... How? How does one forget their child's birthday? And if you do, you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, you can forget. There's possibilities of forgetting it. Yeah. But 16 Candles is kind of confusing. That way. Now, I love Breakfast Club. That's good. Um, I remember my uh, my cousin Jessica would have me watch The Lampers all the time when she would come over. I love the movie. I also remember watching Power Rangers. And I remember watching the movie. Just so I could just get that hint of uh, my nostalgia. Loved it. Uh, and hated it because the show itself is pretty darn bad. And basically, here's how I look at it. Imagine the Captain Planeteers, or the, yeah, Planeteers from Captain Planet and the Planeteers meeting gigantic, huge monsters from Japan, you know, and fighting them with their, their battle suits if they had any. Yeah, imagine if they all had their own geo cruisers. That'd be awesome. But, yeah, the premise was kind of annoying. Because <laughs> that's like every episode. But, it's a good show. I think, I think, 
I guess part of it was they also came from out of it. It's same with Transformers. I probably would not have been interested at first because it's basically people from outer space. And I always have this thing about characters from outer space, even as a kid. How? <laughs> it's like, so, it came here to this planet, you are paranoid, oh my god, like, oh my god, aliens from outer space, folks, aliens from outer space. But, and people, you know, paranoia runs, wreaks havoc. I, I swear it would be fun for people who were anti, you know, who were uh, anarchists and loved the idea of post-apocalyptic world, which you know I do. Yeah, after watching Mad Max and, well, every show that had that premise, like Sonic Underground, I love that show. Sonic in general, even the one that... Some people didn't quite agree with, especially the nostalgia thing. Dude and I probably have vastly different opinions, even though just recently I think we're starting to come to an agreement. Now, mind you, he's like 30, so I guess he shouldn't expect him to. I'm not going to say what my age is, but yeah, <laughs> it's it makes no sense, but eh, you know, I, I like everyone likes what they like, and I think it's nice to see someone. And else, besides CR, Brown Channel also have a really deep, nostalgic standpoint. Because I watch in the day show, TV shows that are just, they hate it. Like, they, oh my god, like, they either hate it or they're trying to make it seem like they respect it and love it and think it's the best thing that ever happened. In reality, you know, these people have no concept of what we grew up with. That's why I don't think some corporations should get a hold of shows like Captain Planet. And I know basically you weren't talking about bringing it back, you were talking about how it's inspired us, but I'm also talking about how this did inspire people to make films and how some people really should not get a hold of it our childhood. If they do it, they need to do it carefully or just leave it alone. Just don't touch it. It's like a scab, no offense, I don't know, I'm comparing my love of my nostalgia to a scab, and that's pretty gross. But yeah, don't pick it, and don't try to make it worse. Because <laughs> there's things that no one liked in the 1990s. I gotta think Demo Lovato, great artist, glad she got out and away from, from uh, Barney, with the, you know, Barney the Dinosaur. But hey, I can't say I'm a bad person. I used to watch Denver the Last Dinosaur. And I was not aware that that was written and made in the 1980s. I think that's pretty cool. That that was made in the 80s. I guess I shouldn't be shocked or surprised. But I love it. And ending on that note. Okay. Well. And ending on that note. I am proud that you are... I think it's really cool that you are now married and retain and you're be who you are and how awesome it is in everything to be you. You are an awesome person. I wish I could be more like you. Hopefully my videos will go on and maybe be as popular as yours. And if not, I'm proud to try. And I think Again, you are an awesome person. Okay. Anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Wilco, over and out. Good night, everybody.